Okay, let's just talk about the boys season two really quick. I can't help myself, but I watched this maybe a week ago, and then uh, I watched a ton of shit since, including The Queen's Gambit, which I just raved about two seconds ago. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to talk about the boys real quick because, man, this show is just so awesome. This show is just so fantastic. This is This is a show that kind of trips me out a little bit because a lot of people hate violence and this is this is such a weird thing that people do so like they'll talk about horror and they go, oh it's too gory too violent too this and that but then they excuse it in action and in war movies and stuff like that because they think that it serves the story but with something like the boys this show is graphic as fuck and there's just moments in it where i'm just like Almost every person I've talked to loves this show who's watched it. Don't care how sensitive they are. I don't care what their tolerance level of violence and whatever. They seem to just be able to be okay with it in this show. It's just, just so odd to me. Because it is one of the most graphic shows on television. Now, if you don't know what the hell this show's about, for some reason you haven't seen it, it is about superheroes who are basically um, part of a... Um, higher organization that controls their actions and they're actually most of them are corrupt awful dreadful fucking people you know or, or superheroes and there's these guys called the boys who want to expose them but they're just humans they're you know they don't have any superpowers or anything and we really just kind of focus on either the boys who are, are trying to uh, get evidence together or, or anything they can to take down these uh, false idols and then you also follow the superheroes and the things that they get up to and how this is all like just controlled um, PR stunts and, and there's characters like Homelander who is basically Superman I mean he's he's Superman and he's the biggest piece of shit of them all. But this guy has godlike powers. He has the laser vision. He can fly. He is, he is, I don't know anything he does that Superman doesn't. And I don't know anything Superman does that he doesn't. He's Superman. I mean, he's just outright. Um, but it, it's more of like, I guess, a realistic take on what it would be like if superheroes existed. That they'd be bought by corporations and, and, you know, it would be about their image and how they sold it to TV. And then they act in movies and they do deals and they make money. And, um, you know, they're, they're very much for their own country and, and they're, you know, kind of like assets for, for the government. And um, just all the politics of it and all the behind the scenes and the, you know, you never want to meet your idols and, you know what if Superman was bad? I mean, we kind of had that with the uh, Brightburn movie, if, like, Superman was a bad kid, but this is more of, like, what if Superman was a sociopath who has not only a god complex, but he's absolutely insecure like a motherfucker <laughs> and has some serious mommy issues, to say the least. Um, but... For me, I, I mean, everyone's so good in this show. And this season was f was just fucking phenomenal. Um, or as um, Butcher would say, fucking diabolical. Which, Carl Urban has got to be the coolest actor working today. Like, if you just go through his credits of everything he's done, whether it's Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, Dread, this. Like, he has the coolest resume. He just keeps taking the coolest fucking jobs. I love the guy. I love him. I love him. I love him. And he kills in every single thing he's in. And this is one of my favorite performances that he gives. He's just that rough, tough, you know, takes no prisoners, no bullshit from anybody. Throws around my favorite word like it's nothing. Cunt. Um, I just, I can't love him enough. And there's no character that I don't like or like to hate you know it doesn't matter and and it's such a funny show i mean that's really what it mostly is is like this comedy with uh, lots of drama though too it's not it's not like slapsticky it's not stupid 
Um, there's there's a lot of emotional beats here that land very well. Um, but it's got great action. As I said, it's violent as fuck. Holy shit, man. People's faces being torn apart and ripped out and bodies exploding and heads blowing up right and left. And it is, it's one of the most violent shows on television, easily. I mean, the gore is insane at times. Literally people's heads and faces and shit just being torn apart, ripped off, smashed in, crushed, what have you. Um... And with this season, you've got uh, a new character called Stormfront, who might be even a bigger piece of shit than than uh, Home Homelander, which you think is pretty much impossible. But it's like, damn, I don't know. <laughs> this chick's uh, giving him a run for his money, uh, but she's you know she's a good character and she's she's pretty damn hot and she's uh, she's funny and you know as as you get to know her throughout. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get too much into it. I don't want to sit here and, and talk about it too much. If you if you haven't watched it, you got to watch it. Between like this and and the Mandalorian, which just started, which was phenomenal, and you know, would I review that? Probably not. But fuck, if you're not watching the Mandalorian, do that as well. And if you haven't watched the Queen's Gambit, get on that. And if you have, dude, there's so much amazing shit out. So when people are like, I can't find anything to watch. Are you kidding me? With all of this content that's on right now, even after all the COVID delays, we still got all of this incredible shit coming out this year. And The Boys Season 2 is at the very top of the TV list. It's probably my favorite season connected to an ongoing show. Because as I had said in my previous review, The Queen's Gambit's my favorite thing like I've watched on all of 2020. But Boys Season 2 is probably my favorite season that's connected to a larger whole. Um, fuck, man. So good. So damn good. And uh, I I can't wait for, for season three. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you haven't watched it, let me know. And, and let me know if you watch it. And, and please, you know, let me know in the comments. Like, oh, wow, why the fuck haven't I been watching this? Even if you're like somebody who's like, I don't like superhero stuff. I don't care. This is like Watchmen for the modern age that's what it feels like to me like a more realistic approach and a more like gritty um you know dirty look at these superheroes that are corrupt as fuck like they're you know they're murdering people uh raping people i mean just terrible terrible all of them most or i should say most of them some of them are good but um very few and far between so um yeah just so much great this season and we'll see what happens next season.